And you'll look at me, I'll be kind of playing around with different cameras and okay. things, but just kind of look in this direction a little bit. Okay. All right, man, well, easiest question, man. Tell me your first and last name and how we spell it. Okay. And where you're originally from. Okay, my name is uh, Manuel Cias Hernandez. I have two last names because I'm from Cuba. So yeah. we had to use uh, two last names over there, one from the mother and one for the father. So, okay, yeah, he's uh, Cias, C-I-A-S, and uh, Hernandez. It's like a Spanish uh, yeah. last name, typical. So, so, so yeah. Well, Cias Hernandez. And your wife is Anna, right? Anna, yeah, my wife is Anna. What's her last name, Cias Hernandez too? Or do you no, know? she has uh, Marquez Gonzalez. So is she Gonzalez too? Yeah, she's uh, knows like you. With a Z or an S? Uh, what was that? Does she spell it with an S or a Z? Uh, Marquez with a Z. Marquez and Gonzalez? Uh, with a Z, yeah. So she's Gonzalez with a Z, no kidding. Gonzalez with a Z. Line. Okay. So there you go. Um, all right, first of all, tell me a little bit, how did you get here, man? I mean, yeah. you know, a lot of people probably ask you that question, right? Yeah, because uh, everybody stayed back in Miami. So yeah, we came here um, 13 years ago as a political refugees, uh, we decided to stay here in Arizona because we had a lot of work back in the time here. You can find a lot of work easy here. And yeah, that's why we stay here, Tell basically. Tell me about Cuba. I mean, cause I, I mean, I know it's a broad state. Oh man, uh, Cuba is a beautiful place. We have a lot of beaches around. It's an island, you know, it's a Caribbean island. Uh, it's a nice place. The, the food is good, man. That's why we decided to open a restaurant here because uh, we love the Cuban food. Uh, we want to show the people here in Arizona how, how is it, how good is it, yeah. so yeah. What was the biggest challenge for you opening a Cuban restaurant in a predominantly town of, of Mexican immigrants? Yeah, because uh, we think that it's a good idea because it's different, it's something new that uh, we want to, to bring here and uh, we have uh, pastries, we have, uh, uh, you know, different food, it's not hot, like uh, we don't use spices, uh, uh, the chili is something, it's different because it's Caribbean, um, it's nice, it's, yeah. you, you need to try it, man. Let's, let's talk a little bit about, you know, how you got here as a political refugee. Um, what, how challenging was it when you first got here? Because, I mean, like you were just talking, you came here, you didn't know English, um, you had a hundred bucks in your pocket and a little baby. Yeah. Um, what, how did it feel when you first got here? Was yeah, really the beginning was, uh, was uh, you know, it was hard because uh, this is a big country, you know, it's different. This is a capitalist, capitalist system. Uh, we came from another, another ideas and different stuff. So here is, I love this country, man. Yeah. So what can I say? Uh, beginning was hard, but uh, right now, because of the hard work, we, we can find at the end the results, we can see it. So. Talk, talk about what you did when you first got here. You know, did you go originally to Miami, then come here? Yeah, we came here uh, to Miami. We would stay there a few hours to you know, check the, all the papers and yeah. things like that. So they sent us to here. It was like uh, 10 hours flying to here. So, um, yeah, we, when we get here, it was on, I, I remember it was on November, November 3rd, 2005. Uh, the temperature was like uh, today here is 110, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was that was funny. That was uh, something new for us. Everything was new. How old were you at the time? Uh, what was that? How old are you, Carlos? Okay, right now I'm 40 years old. Um, back in the time I was a 28. So you're 28. So 20 you're 28 years, years old. When, when, got here, when I get here, uh, ready to fight, re ready to do everything. So. Yeah. So what do you do when you first get? So you, do they give you an apartment? They yeah, they give us an apartment for six months uh, as a political refugee, as I said. Uh, they give us a, uh, they find us a job. They give us a shot. You know, uh, everything they take care of us. So yeah, I, some, that is, that's something that uh, I thank uh, my family too all the time. So uh, we are yeah. proud to be here. Yeah. Actually, we are U.S. citizens right now. So. Wow, yeah, I love this country, man. When did you become a citizen? In 2015. Wow, that, that had yeah. to be a great feeling. Yeah, that's a um, great feeling. So man. tell me a little bit, you know, as we start from the beginning, what were you doing when you first got here as far as a job? Or, okay, know? yeah, we, the first job that I had was working on a, in the factory, uh, building the, the curtains for the house. 
And after that, I went to the construction business. I, we, I worked on the, you know, doing the low voltage in the new homes. So I was there for eight years. And uh, then I decided to open my business here, my own business. So. Yeah, so, so tell me kind of what the thought process was. What were you thinking when? Oh, man, I had to, I have to have two jobs at the same time. I worked from 5 a.m. in the construction business. And after that, here to the restaurant. Uh, from 4 to 10 to the evening, so I was hard for two years, man. Uh, no weekends, no nothing, just, just working. Just working. working. Yeah. What, and what year did you guys open this restaurant? Uh, we opened this restaurant seven years ago. In so the same spot? You guys in the here? same spot. It was a small place. Yeah. We did a remodelation here. So we start with uh, six tables. Right now we have, uh, yeah. you see, 52 chairs. Wow. Actually, so. so tell me, what was it like when you first opened it? Were people like, like yeah, the people say, okay, Q1 restaurant here, okay, so let's try, it. so let's get there. So it was kind of slow. We have to stay here for you know many hours, uh, uh, waiting for the people. Uh, actually, we don't have uh, that time, money to afford the uh, you know commercial or things yeah. like that that can help you on these days. So we have to try to show the people how the food it is, how good it is. So that's, yeah. uh, for me, that's the best promotion that you can have. You yeah. know, tell all the people, you know, you came here to a restaurant, you can say, okay, that food is good, let's try it. So you can tell everybody. So. Yeah, so, so the food kind of spoke for itself. Yeah. Um, were you surprised that so many people supported the restaurant, you know, at, at, and it was growing over the years, even though they maybe hadn't tasted Cuban food before? Yeah. Once the, the, the people get here and try the first time, they, believe me, they go back here to, they love it, to yeah, they love it. So yeah, because uh, we do everything fresh here, trying to do you know, our best here, the, to bring customers, to make the people happy. So yeah, that's, what, the, that's uh, the idea. What's the reception been from like, uh, the Mexican population? Because we obviously here in Phoenix, we have a big Mex Mexican population. Do you find a lot of Mexicanos come in and they say, man, we love this food? Yeah, do you know what? The Mexicans that live here on Phoenix, uh, they love the Cuban food. When yeah. Once that they came here and tried, they say, you know what? I love it. So there's something that, you know, it's different. Yeah. So, yeah it's, Let's talk about those differences a little bit because a lot of people think, oh, Latino food's all the same. Okay. You know, describe Cuban food for people that may have never tried it. Okay, Cuban food, basically, uh, we use, uh, you know, pork. Uh, we use uh, black beans, we use uh, rice, uh, we use chicken, uh, fish, we do everything. But we use, uh, we have our own uh, receipt for the, you know, to prepare the food. Uh, we use garlic, onions, uh, you know, we use uh, olive oil, wine, we have different stuff. We don't use a uh, hot uh, chili, but, uh, you know, we mix a few things that at the end, they have a good result, man. Yeah, what, do you have a favorite Cuban dish? Like mine is, you know, just black beans, white rice with like the chip, the, the, the dish you guys made me yesterday was yeah. like, that's exactly what I love with the onions, garlic. Yeah, the people, when they came here, they love the ropa vieja, which oh, is yeah. a shredded beef with the tomato sauce, bell peppers, uh, yeah. onions, and they also love the Cuban sandwich, which is a pretty famous in the yeah. uh, East Coast. Miami, so the, yeah, you know, they love our, our pastries that we do here. They are different. You can find another place, yeah. like a flan, tocinillo del cielo. You can find everything here. Yeah, no, I, I saw your guys' menu. It's awesome. T talk about some of the signature dishes in the bakery, because you know, okay. a lot of people don't know what flan is. Yeah, we also have uh, one of uh, the people love it, which is a uh, señorita. Señorita is a, uh, you know, uh, pastry sheet with a uh, vanilla pudding on the middle yeah. and merengue on the top. They love that one, and they also love the the flan, the catalana. Catalana is like uh, eclair filled with uh, creams, and the top, and the uh, it's, um, they have a like a strawberry cream on the in the, the top. So it's nice, man. It's good. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's all really authentic too. Um, so, what are we gonna make today, Manuel? That uh, you, you want to show everybody? Yeah, we're gonna show you today how to prepare a um, midnight sandwich, which is a kind of the same of the Q1 sandwich with a different bread. Okay, we're also gonna show you how to prepare the, the papas rellenas, which is a, one of the favorite things right here. It's a mashed potato with a ground beef inside. And um, we're gonna show you something about the flank. All right, can't wait. Before I let you go, man, tell me about you know, how much passion and love and, and 
you know, really your soul that you put into this food because, you know, of your Cuban heritage. You know, tell me about that. that. Okay. Uh, I've been doing this all my life. From the beginning, when I started, when I had uh, 18 years old, I started working, doing this in Cuba, back in Cuba. So I bring all my knowledge here to this country. And I basically, I do everything here by myself. So it's good. So That's what you. I can tell. Yeah.